Hi friends, Wanda here tonight, live with you again. And uh, tonight, uh, <laughs> Facebook has been blocking me from tagging, so I'm really sorry. You know, I have my list of 50 people um, that I can notify each time, and I, I go and tag, and then Facebook tells me, I'm sorry, but you can't tag right now for the protection. I guess they think I'm, you know, scamming people or something. I don't know. <laughs> Ooh, I'm going to scam you with my pretty rainbow rock. <laughs> Hi, Lori. Anyways, I apologize um, if you're having to watch this, you know, on the replay. We are live right now, but if it's the replay, I did try to tag everyone, so I do apologize. I also tried to go live on my own page to see if that would make a difference, and they don't like me over there either. So, here we are. <laughs> Hi, Julie. So tonight, um, I'm going to do a tattoo with a 3D um, and see where we go from there. I think I'm going to add some dots. I don't know. Maybe some top dots. <laughs> Anyways, I really like this fairy tattoo. So the how I did this, I did it in advance so that it would be dry and we wouldn't have to wait live. So it's the Chromatech watercolor pens. And I just laid down some color and took my water brush and really thinned it out and blended it together. So it's kind of like the baby colors, you know, the baby room colors. So that's what that is. Hello, Deborah. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and add our tattoo. Before I do that, I'm going to cut off what I can without um, cutting any of the outside tattoo bits. So, always nice to have a little pair of scissors handy. These are from the Dollar Tree. One dollar. I have four or five of them around so that, you know, if I get glue or sticky on one of them, I can just grab another one. So, there's also a film, a transparent film on this for protection. And you're going to want to remove that for sure. Otherwise, you'll have a pretty tattoo on your film. Okay, so she's sitting on a bubble. Shame on her. She's not wearing any britches. Okay, there we go. Put her there. And water on the back. And you want this pretty wet. Nice and sloppy wet. <laughs> you really want it to be pretty wet so it will release. And because I did do watercolor here, you just want to kind of keep, or you'll get a big ring around it, you know? So. And keep checking your tattoo for movement. So when you can slide it, gently, Gently slide and make sure that your tattoo is staying. You can grab it and pull up. Just make sure, again, that your tattoo is staying on the rock. I tried to do a light enough background. Oops, see? <laughs> My bubble. Okay, well, she's on a broken bubble. <laughs> Maybe she gained a few pounds. <laughs> Poor girl. <laughs> Alright, so I'm just going to blend out this color on the rock. Bring a little back in. We can fix this bubble with some foil. No big deal. Some foil and some some watercolor. We'll fix it. You know, I might bring in the pencils. Get some really good color in here. Possibly. Fairies can be blue, right? Yeah. Hi, Susan. So, 
So that was uh, Lemon Yellow. And this is Sky Blue. It's the darker of the blues here. Just blending that in with the yellow to get a bit of green there. This is a, a azure or azuri. I always stumble on that, and I've been told over and over. So I apologize if you've told me. Obviously, I'm not listening very well. Shame on me. So nothing really special here. Just blending. Trying to be careful of the tattoo that I bungled over here. Um, I'm going to be adding some gold sequins, which are kind of like rhinestones, but they're nail sequins. They have a, a gold, like a moon and a star and um, stuff like that. And then I'll be fixing that with a foil, probably. Okay, so here, this is light pink. And I'm blending that out with the water. So I think I have a feeling this one will take about 90 minutes. So I'm trying to get it to where I can get it dry so we can work on maybe maybe not 90 minutes, but Hi Cindy. So my idea here, I already set up my handy dandy window film, but I set it up wrong. Because I have to do it, see I took a copy of her in my copier, right? Well, she was the other way on the tattoo paper. So when I copied her, I didn't take into account that I need to do the other side of her <laughs> to make it match here. So what I'm going to do is show you guys how I taped this all together while that's drying. So I basically have the image and I'm going to want it... To go this way and I'm going to be working through the back side we're barely going to be able to see it and then I take thank you Lori Derda for the contribution of the double-sided sticky tape Lord it's the greatest thing <laughs> anyways I just add a bit of that Oops. and then pop my window film right down on there so that it's nice and flat works really great Pardon the writing on there, it doesn't matter. It's on the other side, so. Anyway, so you can see through it. Can you see that? What we're looking for are the shape of the wings because I'm going to color this with my alcohol markers. And then we're gonna make a, a resin wing. That tape is pretty awesome. <laughs> and that tape, you can actually foil on this tape. The only problem with that is um, it's hard to fill in anything, uh, you know, with, you can do a perfect border with it. Like if you just wanted to do a straight border, the, the foil sticks to this perfectly. Just almost, I was testing it out. Okay, so I'm trying to pick out some pretty crazy pinks and uh, maybe I'll put some yellow in that wing. Make some oranges, maybe a blue. So what I'm going to do is with the brush, the brush end, that, it looks like a gray, huh? Nah. Okay, so I'm holding it to where I can see through it, and I'm basically just going to find my wing here. And she's got... See her over here? She's got um, like double wings. So we're going to do 
and this doesn't have to be perfect because these are 3D so they're going to basically attach <clears throat> to her back there. And we're going to just do some stuff, some stuff, stuff in here. going to take this out of here. Fire wings, right? And then to get the color off the tip of your uh, pen, just, you know, wipe it on your towel or whatever you have handy until it goes right back to the color yellow and be good to go for next time. So that's about the shape we want because we're going to uh, put the resin on there and then we're going to shape it again to fit her on her back. She is almost dry. She has glitter She's a glitter tattoo, so she's a bit different than normal tattoos. I got to pat here a bit because there's water under her. And that will just destroy any resin that we do. Being very careful not to ruin her face. Never ruin the face, right? Okay, I think she's okay. We saved her. I forgot to bring in my Rust-Oleum. I was going to spray her with some of that. But since I'm using UV resin, I think it might work. Not 100% positive about that, but she's real gooey, so we're going to let her sit. May or may not be able to accomplish this. So I'm going to put on some gloves, and we're going to make this. And I'm going to add some glitter to the wings while they're cooking with the resin. Hi, Kimberly. Not sure what I want to use yet. What's everyone doing tonight? I'm going to turn the fan on her over here. Sorry for all the banging. <laughs> Crash bang. Okay. So, the resin will be Mr. Resin Hard Type. Oops, that's not what I wanted to do, but at least it fell right into the wing, right? <laughs> Goodness, that was a good catch. Oh, wow, my tip is glued on. Okay, here we go. Mr. Resin. So we are going to try to stay in our little wing here. If we have to trim it, that's okay too. So don't try to like put it all on there. You can guide it to where you want it to go with a pokey tool. Like so. And I'm going to remove some here. And I'm kind of, um, when I'm thinking of these wings, I'm thinking you know, um, very what, whimsical, little wispy, 
kind of wings. <laughs> Deborah's cooking supper and Lori is watching the Tampa Bay Lightning. Who's winning? And um, I don't know if you saw, but I put it on the side of the window film that has the texture and the pattern on it. I mean the pattern and the iridescent rainbow. Well, I wanted to tell you guys I had an overwhelming response to the offer for the free window film. And I have run out of that. So for any that are still coming in, I am... Um, I have some other window film that it's kind of a similar pattern but with no uh, rainbow to it but you can still use it uh, for patterns and whatnot and just color them like I'm doing here okay so here you take uh, some glitter I have the fan on so I'm gonna hold my hand kind of at an angle just with your little stick and when you touch it to the resin it should start moving around in there very good I'm also, I have another exciting treat here. I'm going to put some rhinestones while it's here so they'll be part of it. Oh, nice <laughs> vacuum. You know, my family, they're so funny. I go live and they decide to do these things. Mow the yard, vacuum, <laughs> whatever. I'm happy for the help, but you know, wow. Okay, that was just alcohol to get the resin off. Okay, rhinestones. I am so sorry, you guys, about that. And I'm gonna have the rhinestone tool here. them up the outer part like that Hopefully you guys can see a bit better. Sorry about that. Let's see here. So we're still working with the wet resin while our fairy is drying. She's at the beauty parlor getting her hair did. Hi, Kelly. Okay, I'm going to go in with the smaller ones, just a couple.
Sorry about the hands. <laughs> Okay. Oh, one more. Sorry, missed the middle one. You guys just thought I was done, huh? There can never be enough glitter, rhinestones, foil. Never, ever, never enough. Never enough. I don't know if y'all saw that, but I got um, some of the glue on me, or the resin, so I need to fix that real quick. I'm sorry. Okay, so I'm going to put this in the uh, light. I'm going to use the big Beatles 84 watt. I'm not going to bring it over because I don't want to bump anything over here. I'm going to clean here with alcohol. We are good to go. So here's the sequins that we're going to be using in a little bit on her tassels, we'll call them, out here to fix that up. And I'm going to see what I can do with this <laughs> poor ball down here. What should I do there? Ooh, I have an idea. I made this. I wonder if I have one about that size. I think I do. Just almost. Mm -hmm. Maybe we'll make one, right? We'll fix this. Okay, good enough for the ball. Might be able to use that in there to fix the bubble she's sitting on. <laughs> Maybe. There's a little piece of her dress there I don't want to ruin either, so we shall see. Let's see how these wings came out. Good. Hopefully we can pop them off successfully. And it's okay back here if they're real thin because that's where her back is right here. So, let's try to crack that part off. One piece down. There we go. Okay, so we want to bend this. 
this part here, bend it just a bit. So we're gonna be attaching these like so to the back. And then this one, we'll go down here and attach here. Oops. Is that the right way? Yep. Yeah, that's the right way. So like right here. So like that. Can you guys see? This is resin and the pen that I used on here is the Oh, these are Ohuhu alcohol markers that I used on on the window film. Okay, so before we get into attaching these wings now that they're created and formed, uh, we're going to foil her, and I'm going to trim, I don't know if you guys can see this, but I'm going to trim these edges here around the wings a bit. Just make them dainty. those for a bit and we'll do some foiling here. I'm going to use Beetle's Nail Art Foil Glue. I'm pouring some into my dish so I have better control of it. I'm going to use disposable eyeliner brush. up here so I can see what we're doing. I'm going to use uh, the foil, the nail foils, the new ones. Okay, the Mac Art 6 Watt Nail Light. And in a bit we will do uh, this one with the resin too. So I'm going to resin the wings here. I mean foil, foil the wings. Technically that statement wasn't wrong because glue is a resin. But <laughs> So of course I'm gonna go with the transparent because I don't want to lose the definition in the wing parts here. All right, we'll cure that. How's everybody tonight? I think I caught everybody right during dinner time, probably. Hi. Who's on with me? I have Lori and Tamara, Susan and Julie, Deborah. Hello, everyone. So, what foil? What foil should we use here? I think I want to use the large crackle. What do you guys think? This one for her wings? Uh, 
Oh yeah, here too. It's very hot here, South Texas. Oh my gosh, with our index, it's over well over a hundred. The humidity. Lights off. Okay, I didn't hear or I didn't hear. Yeah, I can hear you guys. I didn't see any votes, so I'm gonna use the large crushed glass. You want to be extra careful when you're working with tattoos that you get the right part of the foil on there because you'll tear the tattoo right off the rock if you don't. So I'm just going to grab a new section just to make sure we're 100% on the right. <laughs> and I'm going to cut off the used part so that it's definitely out of here. That looks pretty. Foil just changes the game, right? And then we have these pretties that we're fixing to offset and add. See, look how pretty you guys, 3D wings. I'm telling you, it's just part of the future. <laughs> it's the Wanda movement, what do you think? <laughs> I know, I've lost it. It's official. All right, let's do what do I want? Okay, guys, what did I do with that? I'm forever losing stuff. Oh, here it is. This one. We'll do the resin on this mm -hmm. one. See if I can fix her bubble ball. See if we can make this a bubble look. So I am just bringing these, the resin, to the edges of my circle. And I am going to torch that. So I see bubbles in there. Oh, sorry. I hope I wasn't too much. Yes, Deborah. <laughs> I need that. I love your iris. Deborah has a beautiful iris stamp. Come on, bubble. There's a bubble in there deep. Come out, bubble. Come out, bubble. Into the oven with you, Bubble. That's going to be pretty. Hopefully, I'm going to cook it for less time because the wings were a bit tricky to get off of the plastic. And can you see how it sort of melted it? Because it gets really hot. Resin gets really hot. So, it we're experimenting here with this. So, I have an idea, you guys. I think I'm going to try to make a, a mold with this pattern on it so that we don't have to use window film. <laughs> we'll have like a piece of silicone, you know. Wouldn't that be fun? I'll show you guys. Okay, so let's pick... I think I want to use these feathers. Feathers for the rhinestone, or the 
sequin tassels here. Does that look pretty? I like that. You like that? She will not look so bumpy and icky once I get the resin on. She has glitter in her tattoo, which doesn't work on a rock, but it it works on skin. So, see? She's fine. She'll be fine. <laughs> All is well. She's, she's in the cooker. Okay, let me take this out while it's warm. I'm going to try to get it off. It's hot. <laughs> but way easier to get off. Okay, so tip, take them off when they're warm. Yep. So she's sitting on that. I'm, in, I'm going to, should I cut it or yeah, let's see. I don't know if this is going to work, you guys. It's just a harebrained idea I have. So here I'm just going to draw some pieces to cut. Or, you know, maybe I should just... If I'm going to be able to cut so delicately, even with an exacto knife, it wouldn't cut through this, I don't think. Let me just see how that works. Oh, that might work. Let's go with this. What do you think? Hi, Matt. Cut. <laughs> Lori says cut. We're cutting, Lori. We're cutting. Let's see if I can do a rear end pattern here. <laughs> see, she's got... She has a rear end right there. I have to cut off that part of the ball. Let's see. This is not my strong suit, guys. If you're just coming on and you're wondering what the heck I'm doing, so do I. Join the crowd. I'm wondering what I'm doing, too. So this is kind of working. I just need to cut out her rumpus and put it back on yeah <laughs> oh, Matt what the hell are you up to now right I don't know I'm crazy here let's cut that part off so we're trying to fix the bubble <laughs> the bubble disintegrated and I'm all about fixing it right there's no it's never lost. And even if this doesn't work, I'll break out the metallic foil and we will fix that ding ball. Okay. You guys can't see it, can you? I mean, you can't see how this is going to work. <laughs> can you see it now? Does it work? We're going to have resin all over it so it will all like blend together. You know what I mean? So we're going to uh, spot. You know, I'm going to use top coat because it cures fast. Here's what we're going to do. We are going to glue this thing on with top coat and the UV torch flashlight. Okay. 
<laughs> Thank you. All right, so there's that. Where's my light? Matt, look. Fairy wings. See? On. It's on. And we fixed the bubble. And now, the glue, foil glue, will add right in here a big blob. And then right on top of this piece we did, we're going to also add some of the foil glue. Make it more 3D. And this bubble here. We're going to cure these for one cycle and foil those with the clear. <laughs> I'm sciencing in here again. <laughs> We're going to use the clear uh, for the balls or bubbles or whatever they are. This one, just to give them that cool. Oh yeah, Matt's saying he wants to watch the new Loki. Who doesn't? Wow, that's going to be awesome. You can't? Why? Because you're watching this? <laughs> oh no. Allison, these aren't the ones I sent you, are they? You couldn't have gotten those already, could you have? Um, if the ones I sent, or if you have some foils that aren't sticking, it could be the light. Oh, pretty. Um, looks like a, lot, a sucker, you know, one of those... <laughs> glass suckers. All right, we're going to resin uh, this and so I'm going to sign it beforehand even though I don't know what I'm going to do out here. I'll probably do it on top of the resin. So I'm going to set these before I do the resin. So I want one, two, three, several. Um, let's see what Okay, my foilers, what could make foils not stick? Too much UV light will overcook the glue sometimes. Um, sometimes the foils themselves are, they misbehave. Like, uh, they don't release well. These foils um, are the easy release, so I'm hoping that we don't have those problems. But, Lord, if we do, you guys got to tell me, okay? So there, does that look funny or does that go with the tassels? Can you see how that works?
What do you guys think of that? Yeah? <laughs> okay, so I have to take them off the side. I just wanted to uh, make sure they're a go. I got to grab my riser rock. Wanda language. Put this up on here. And we're going to resin the whole thing. I think I might write something on it, but maybe not tonight. I don't know what I'm going to do with it yet. <laughs> Whoops. Pardon the bump. But I was so excited to do the tattoo with the... 3D wings. See if it it would work. I should have picked a better tattoo though. So this is a brush I've designated for resin. Um, I clean it with alcohol when I'm done, and the brush is it's stiff, yes, but it um, it still works to spread this resin quite nicely. So it's way better than gloved fingers. It doesn't leave with UV resin, it's just a bit different than regular resin as it doesn't self-level as well. It does self-level, but not as well as two-part. And I have a very thick coat on this because of the bubble we fixed in the middle here. So I want to make sure that is quite covered. in my resin. Okay. While she's, ah, oh no, that's not good. While she's wet uh, with the resin, we're gonna put the torch and get the bubbles out. Very important. I know I'm real close, but I can see a whole bunch. Okay, just don't cook it. Then apply the feathers to the wet resin. Or make sure you have them going the right direction. Can you guys see okay? <laughs> Thanks guys for hanging out with my crazy. <laughs> oh, I think I'm short one. Good thing I have lots. Oh no, I have it. Okay. Oh no, I am short one. Darn it. Grab one more. Okay, I'm going to hit that with the other torch <laughs> for my UK friends. Torch. US friends. Torch. <laughs> Two different things. Flashlight. UV flashlight. It's a 12 LED. It's uh, very helpful for times like this. Okay. Now, good, it's still gooey and wet. I need to put the wings in. This is the fun part. You guys ready? While they're still gooey, set your wings there. Hit it with your light. And 
And if for some reason you missed it, you can just add a little resin. You know, we'll have to add some here. I still have some on my brush, so I'll scoop it off this way. Okay, there's that wing. It's the brand of UV resin you're using, Matt. <laughs> I'm sorry, I have gone through so many UV resins and the only one I like is Mr. Resin. So, sorry, I have to add a little of the resin here. Okay, we're going to pop her in the UV light. Uh, UV resin is very temperamental. I haven't met one that is 100% lovable. Mr. Resin, I think, gives the most consistent cure. Um, I can put it out in the sun if I don't have a light, and it will cure every time in about 30 minutes all the way. But look here, I'm going to bring you guys down for a peek. Can you see that? Isn't that pretty? Okay, here she goes into the light. And your cooker mat, you need a high watt light. 84 I would even say is kind of low um, go go high high watt light is good for best for UV resin you just don't mess around with it just get her done because the Sun is some pretty serious UV rays you can cook UV on a sh on a rainy shady day if you have enough I mean rain isn't good for resin but you know what I'm saying a cloudy day you can cure your resin even in the clouds It'll take a little longer, but it's still, they still come through the clouds. So this will take probably three to four cures at 120 seconds. So we're looking at, uh, I don't know, two, four, six, six to eight minutes to cure, but I'm not going to, I'll be able to touch her in a couple of minutes. So we'll see. Hi there, Lonnie. <laughs> I have her curing. Hi, Shay. Dinner must be over. <laughs> Everybody's hopping on. So, I'm going to grab a new pair of gloves. Just to stay ahead of the game here. And while we are curing, I'm going to clean my brush. This is my resin brush. Oh, you guys can't see none of this, huh? Okay. Alcohol. And again, this brush is toast, so I only use it for resin. And I'm not upset that it's, you know, kind of stiff and it works. It still spreads it good. So I just get the drippy part off, just like that. Okay, I'm gonna turn her around the other way, but I'll let you see. Look at that beauty. <laughs> She's gorgeous. I got some drips. It's okay. All right, I'm going to cure the other side so I can 
handle her. Yeah, Mr. Resin's never tacky if you cure it long enough. The other ones I've, oh my goodness, I've played for days and never got them to cure. Like put them in the sun, cured them in the light, every light I could think of, and they just won't work. So I, I went back to Mr. Resin. And I really think it has to do with our area because other people have perfect luck with other resins. And, I mean, they show me that they've had perfect luck with other resins, and I'm perplexed. So, it has to be the humidity, maybe altitude, other things come into play when we're working with resin. So, Matt, I can't remember where you're at, hon. I know I mailed you something, but I can't remember where that was. That was a while back. Hi, Vandy. I'm trying to see who's here with us. Yes, hand sanitizer works great to clean resin also, very well. I have a great big bottle of liquid hand sanitizer that I use also. Oh yeah, she's good. So that was two cures and she's totally touchable now. I'll bring the camera back to a reasonable view. So there she is, you guys. I am so excited about this. <laughs> I do have a little bumpy mess here, but that was my bad. I stuck my finger in it while it was cured. Uh, it was sticky when I cured the side, so that's my fault. But it works, right? We could work with that. So, do we like it? Do we like the UV resin 3D rocks? Should I keep doing these every once in a while, or should I? move on to a new project. Oh, I just think it's so cool. What should we call her? <laughs> Deflated bubble butt. <laughs> okay, the bubble is still weird, I gotta say, but it's better than it was. It looked like it had popped. <laughs> it still does. But I can live with that. <laughs> okay, let's see. I'm trying to think. I'm going to think of a number from 1 to 10. Whoever guesses it, I'm going to send you her. Okay, 30 more seconds. Okay, I wrote down my number before I started today, so I'll show you guys the number. First one who picked number four. I haven't even looked, so let's see who's our winner. Susan Nelson. <laughs> Yay! Canada. Ah! Oh. <laughs> Lord have mercy, do we have any truck drivers going to Canada? <laughs> oh my gosh, I'm gonna have to save up and get a second job. We got this, girl. I'll get you. Oh, wait, no. Who picked four? I see nine now. Who picked four? Shay! Sorry, Shay! <laughs> my my thing was met. I am so sorry, Shay. Susan, I still got you. <laughs> sorry about that. Okay, Shay picked number four. I am so sorry. <laughs> Congratulations, <laughs> Shay. 
I love you guys. <laughs> All right, everybody. Thank you for watching. Thanks for hanging out with me. I had so much fun. And even though Mrs. Deflated here, I still think she came out pretty cool. I'm going to log off. I'll see you again soon. Bye.